blessings then go on by one count your blessing see what God has done count your blessings then go on by one and it will surprise you what the Lord has done count your blessings then go on by one I say, count your blessings, see what God has done. You never saw Count your blessings, and by one. Oh. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Count, count, count. Count your blessings, then then walk by and one. And you count your blessings this morning. From everlasting, oh. everlasting to everlasting. Hey, me, oh, yeah. Titi la la, oh. titi la la, titi la la. Hey, me, oh, yeah. Titi la la, titi la la, titi la la. Titi la la. So good, you are so good to me. Oh Lord, you are excellent in my life every day. Oh Lord, you have been so good. Ah, you are so good to me. Oh Lord, you are excellent in my life. I have seen, I have seen the Lord's goodness. His mercies and compassion. Ah, I have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. I have seen. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Ah, His mercies and, and compassion. I say. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Lord, you have been so good. Ah, you are so good to me. Oh Lord, you are excellent. You are my life every day. Oh Lord, you are so good. You are so good to me. Oh Lord, you are excellent. In my life. If indeed you have seen goodness of the Lord, you have seen his mercy and compassion. Can you go ahead and express your gratitude? Can you go ahead and express thanksgiving to the God that kept you January, to the God that kept you February, to the God that kept you March, April, May, June, and now the month of July. He started July with you, and he's ending July with you. This God did not allow July to see your end, but you are the one seeing the end of July. Can you open your mouth and tell God how you feel, and tell God how grateful you are for his mercy that you enjoy, for his compassion that you enjoy, for his blessing that you enjoy, for his protection that you enjoy, for his security that you enjoy, for his miracles, signs, wonders, for testimony he gave to you. Can you go ahead and express your gratitude? Brother, let's open our mouth and talk to the Almighty God. Let's give God all glory. Let's give God all honor. Let's give God all adoration for what he has done for us in our home. In our family, in our businesses, in our career, in our ministry, this God desires to be praised. Let God know you are grateful. Let the Almighty God know you are grateful. Brethren, can you open your mouth and appreciate God? Can you thank Him for all He has done, for the gift of life, for strength, for health? Ah, Masaka Baba, Mazele Kuta Bashiande. 
Se vale katu gazanta le branda. Je papunde le breketo gazande. Rikekete le le gazunta lia. La kaka kababa. Let's thank the Almighty God. Let's thank the Almighty God. Our God desire to be praised. Our God desire to be magnified. Our God desire to be lifted. Our God desire to be exalted. Go ahead, give him praise. Give him praise for what he's doing in his church. Give him praise for what he's doing in our midst. Thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him. Thank him, thank him, thank him. Even for another brand new week. Even for the new man we are crossing into this week. Let's go ahead and begin to thank him. Let's appreciate God. Let's appreciate God. We can never thank him enough. Our God has been good. Even over our nation. Let's appreciate God. Let's appreciate God. No matter how hard things are, we still have life. There is still hope for us. Let's give God glory. Let's give God glory. Masaku tapayale. Thank you for it is by his mercy that we are not consumed. Many started this month with us, but now they are no more. But here you are. The Lord has been your Alpha. Now he's your Omega. He started with you. He's ending with you. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. You have no cause to mourn. You have no cause to weep. You have no cause to sorrow. You have no cause to run head and scatter. You go out safely. You come back safely. He preserve your going out. He preserve your coming in. He supply all your need. He met you at the point of your need. Go ahead, appreciate God. Thank you for all the battle that God has fought for you. Seen and unseen battle. Known and unknown battle. Visible and invisible battle. Battle against every work of darkness. Battle against principalities, powers, rulers of darkness, which are get in high places. Battle against satanic altars. Battle against territorial demons. Go ahead, appreciate God. Appreciate God. May are his blessings eh, towards us. Eh. That's why the songwriter say, Count your blessings, eh. name them one by one. Ah, Kaka Baba, Pato Kaskada, Jibolo Gazia Dali Kaka, Keke Katula. Lord, we are come to say thank you. Lord, we are come to say thank you. Lord, we are come to say thank you. You desire to be present, you desire to be adored, you desire to be magnified. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Brother Tech, we have nothing to give him but to say thank you. What shall we render? What shall we render unto the Lord for all he has done? Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we have worship. I trust somebody will say a louder and a powerful What shall I render? What shall I render? What shall I render to you, my God? I will praise your name and shout hallelujah. What shall I render to you, O oh Lord? What about you? What shall I render? What shall I render? What shall I render to you, O oh Lord? I say, I will praise your name and shout hallelujah. What shall I render to you, O oh Lord? I render clapping. I render clapping. I render clapping to you, my God. I will praise your name and shout hallelujah. I render clapping to you, oh Lord. What shall I render? What shall I render? Oh. What shall I render? I say. What shall I render to you, oh Lord? My God. I will praise your name and shout hallelujah. What shall I render to you, oh Lord? Ah, I render dancing. I render dancing. I render dancing to you, my God. I will praise your name and shout hallelujah. I render dancing to you, O oh Lord. What shall you render? Oh what shall I render? Oh. What shall I render? Ah. What shall I render to you, O oh Lord? I can't hear you, sir. I will praise your name and shout hallelujah. What shall I render? I 
to you, my God. I will praise your name. I shout hallelujah. I render shouting to you, my God. Hallelujah. Oh, shall I render? Oh, shall I render? My God. Oh, shall I render to you, oh Lord? Jehovah God. Oh, we praise your name. Hey. And shout hallelujah. Oh, shall I render to you, oh Lord? been good to you at all. Give the Lord another shout of hallelujah. Amen and amen and amen. Let me be seated for some few minutes. Praise God. You know, today is a day of temptation. Praise the Lord. And it's an unusual day. Amen. If I had my way, we would not even do the anointing today. Praise the Lord. Because if we have bombarded heaven and hell for 31 days, I think this God deserves thanksgiving. Amen, somebody? And that's why we have always set aside the last day of the month of Good Morning Holy Spirit to tell God that we are grateful. And it's a big understanding. Is what? 
because there's somebody listening to me here today today my God will end every form of arches in your life because one of the ways of turning arches to beauty is by thanksgiving and praise and that's why the topic this morning is turning arches to beauty with thanksgiving and what? and praise brethren if you can cultivate the habit of praise and thanksgiving to God continually I can guarantee you that God will not allow arches to cover you and if arches have already covered you he will turn it to beauty how do I know Daniel chapter 4 verse 34 to 37 he said at the end of the days I Nebuchadnezzar lifted up my eyes unto heaven and my understanding returned unto me and I bled the most high and I praise and honor him that liveth forever whose dominion is an everlasting dominion and his kingdom is from generation to generation and all the inhabitants of the earth are reputed as nothing and he dwell according to his will in the army of heaven and among the inhabitants of the earth and none can stay his hand or say unto him what dost thou praise God at the same time my reason returned unto me and for the glory of my kingdom my honor and my brightness returned unto me and my counselors and my loss sought unto me and I was established in my kingdom and a solemn majesty was added unto me now I Nebuchadnezzar praise and eschew and honor the king of heaven all whose works are truth and his ways judgment and those that walk in pride he is able to do what? to abase praise the Lord may you not learn in a hard way only one person said amen. I say, may you not end learn in a hard way. Because they know they tell man. Brethren, can I beg you, sir? Can I beg you, man? If God is helping you, if God is blessing you, if God is decorating and beautifying you, if things are working out fine for you, if you are making it, if you are succeeding, if you are watching greater and greater, I beg you, sir, I beg you, ma, always realize that it is not you. Whatever you are is not you. That you are able to see the end of July is not you. That you woke up this morning is not you. That you are hell and hearty, it is not you. That you are still alive is not you. That you can be able to eat and drink is not you. That you are able to wear clothes is not you. That your voice can still be heard is not you. That your eyes can still see is not you. That your ear can still hear is not you. That your leg can still carry you is not you. That you can still lift up your hand is not you. That you can still shout is not you. Brother, it's not you. That was the mistake of Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar was a king. That during his reign, no one could be compared to him. He was favored by God. He obtained mercy from God. He was prospered by God. He was lifted by God. He was honored by God. He was decorated by God. He was empowered by God. And the day came, he woke up saw the glory around him saw his majesty 
saw the extent of his power, saw the glory he carries, and he says, Do you know what I have done by myself? Hello? And my God made him to know that the one that can turn arches to beauty can also turn beauty to arches. Hello? Did you get that? The one that can give you beauty for what? Arches. Can also give you arches for beauty. But can I pray for you? May you not receive arches for beauty. Because he taught Nebuchadnezzar a very hard lesson. Why? Nebuchadnezzar missed the points. He forgot that he was not the source of all that he had. He became ungrateful. He was filled with ingratitude. Brethren, it's a terrible thing for a man to be filled with ingratitude. It's a terrible thing for a man to be ungrateful. The moment you are, you are, you are having an ungrateful heart, an ungrateful spirit, you are opening the door to arches. Hello? And so God taught him a lesson. If you read Daniel chapter 4, verse 30 to 33, why he was speaking, ascribing glory to himself, ascribing honor to himself, and ascribing glory that was not due to him, instantly, God turned him to an animal. And he was driven out of the palace to the forest to go and answer his name among the lions, the hyenas, the giraffes, the tigers, the antelopes, the pythons. Praise God. Name them. Amen, somebody. A once glorious king became an animal. He was covered with ashes. Brethren, never take God for granted. Brethren, never give yourself the glory that is not due to you. That's why the psalmist says, in Psalm 96, verse 8, he says, give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. In 1 Chronicles 16, 29, David is speaking. He said, give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come before him. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Praise God. The same thing was repeated in Psalm 29, verse 1 and 2. Give unto the Lord, O ye mighty. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Praise the Lord. The glorious status of Nebuchadnezzar was turned to shame because he did not give God the glory due to him. Can you lift up your tongue and say, Lord, I will give unto you all the days of my life glory due unto you. I will never in my life share your glory with you in the name of Jesus. Amen? That was what happened to Nebuchadnezzar. But thank God, he later realized his foolishness. He did what? He realized his foolishness. And so the Bible says, his understanding returned to him. And this time and now, he did what he's supposed to have done. That's why I prayed earlier that but you don't learn in a hard way. Brethren, it takes understanding to realize that you are what you are by grace. It takes understanding for you to know you are nothing before God. He realized it. And what happened? What he ought to have done, he now did. The Bible says he stood. He blessed the name of the Lord. He stood the name of the Lord. 
He said, he gave God praise and honor. And don't forget, God has said, I will honor those that do all, that honor me. Anytime we say, come and let's appreciate God. Let's honor God. Honor God with your substance. Honor God with your praises. Honor God with your dancing. Sir, you are opening door to be honored. Because Galatians 6, 7, he said, be not deceived, God is no mock. Whatsoever a man soweth, he will reap. If you give God honor, God will bestow honor upon you. And so, Nebuchadnezzar did what we want to do this morning. And God did certain things in his life. God gave him beauty for his what? His action. God decorated it. God beautified him. What are the things that God did? Number one. God restored back to him the glory of his kingdom just because he praised and gave God glory due to his name. Can I pray for you, sir? Any of you that have lost glory in that name that is above every other name, as you return all glory to God this morning, he will restore back the glory of your family, the glory of your destiny, the glory of your greatness shall be restored back to you. You are that Lord, let your amen be louder than everybody. Number two, his honor was also restored back to him. When honor is restored back to a destiny, it means no more reproach and shame. No more what? Can I pray for somebody here this morning? As you give God glory, as you worship God, as you give God praise, as you thank God today, all your reproaches shall be rolled away. And every shame in your life shall be terminated. I see restoration coming your way. I see God develop you with glory. I see God beautifying your life, beautifying your home, beautifying your destiny. If you are double, you may be louder than everybody. Then number three, he said his brightness. Hello? His what? Brightness. Brethren, do you know that arches is another word for darkness? Hello? Arches is another word for what? I will now tell you, sir. When fire is burning, when, for instance, you set uh, a firewood and the fire is burning, everywhere is bright. Am I correct? Am I correct? But when the fire burn, 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 and finish burning, and now remain only ashes, do you see any brightness again? Huh? The whole place will become what? Dark. But do you hear the testimony of Nebuchadnezzar? He said, my brightness. He said, my brightness. He said, brightness was what? Return unto me. He said, I'm brightness. The fire was restored. Listen to me, sir. Have you lost the fire of God? Have you lost the anointing? Thank God. It's not a coincidence that we are thanking God and the Satan being anointed in that name that's above every other name. Your brightness shall be restored. Today, as the oil come upon you, you will shine brighter. Your destiny will shine. Your glory will shine. Your family will shine. The work of your hand will shine. In the name of Jesus. He said, my brightness return to me. No more ashes. If I had started burning again, I pray for you. As the oil come upon you today, the, oil, the fire will burn again. I say, the fire of God in you will burn again. You are the to say, louder, amen. No more darkness. Tell your neighbor, no more darkness. Can I pray for somebody? Darkness will never cover you. Darkness will not cover your family. Darkness will not cover your business. Darkness will not cover your ministry. Darkness will not cover your academics. Darkness will not cover your children. Darkness will not cover your spouse. In the name of Jesus, I command any destiny here covered by darkness, receive brightness. I say receive brightness. As the oil come upon you, brightness will be restored. Your glory will be brighter. Your destiny will be brighter. You are double there, you may be over everybody. He said, My brightness return unto me. 
No more darkness. Brethren, it's good to thank God. It's good to give God praise. All this testimony followed after his understanding that he needed to be appreciating God and not to take the glory that belongs to God. And that's why when God is blessing you or God is using you to do anything or God is doing anything through you, sir, man, don't allow praise singers to push you against God. Even if you are a blessing to anybody and they are telling you, oh, daddy, thank you. Oh, mommy, thank you. Oh, my, my brother, thank you. We appreciate what he said, sir, man. All glory to God. To God. Only him. Can take all the glory. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. We give you all, all the glory. We give you. You deserve all the glory. Yahweh. Yahweh. Mighty God. You deserve all the glory. Yahweh. Yahweh, Yahweh. Unto the Lord be the glory. Great is He has done. Unto the Lord be the glory. Great is He has done. Great things He has done. Greater things He will do. Unto the Lord be the glory. Amen. Be seated for a while. I'm about rounding off. Number 14 that happened to him. He said, His lordship and dominion was established. Now his counselors and lords can now come to him. Read Daniel 4 36. In other words, he became a sought after. He became what? A sought after. Brethren, may God make you a sought after. People will come looking for you. God will announce your glory. God will announce your destiny. You are that blessed. Say it louder. Amen. My God will announce your ministry. My God will announce the work of your hand. My God will announce your family. May we come looking for you. May we come looking for you to bless you. May we come looking for you to favor you. May we come looking for you to help you. May we come looking for you to bow before you. In the name of Jesus. He became a sought after. I don't know who this fellow is. There's somebody here. God is asking me to tell you. He said, when I am done with you. He said, you will be saying, Lord, I need rest. Because people will be troubling you. Amen, somebody. Can you pray it? Say, Lord, let people trouble me. Yeah. Let them trouble me for money. Mm. Because if you don't have it, they will not trouble you. That's why one of my father and the Lord say, when you are loaded, you'll be needed. I'm not going to want to be needed. Sought after. Can I pray for you, sir? As the oil come upon you today, it shall be sealed. That you will become a sought after. You are able to say louder, amen. Then finally, be seated as we do the two things we want to do this morning. He says something. <laughs> he says something. He said, Excellent majesty. I love those two words. Excellent majesty was added to me. Do you know what that means? by King James' interpretation in the Bible. Excellent majesty or let us just say majesty stands for greatness and dignity and power. Meaning what he used to be became a child's play to what he became after praising God. Hello? What he used to be did what? Became what? A child's play to what he became. He said, Excellent majesty. Oh my God. Is, you didn't see it in your Bible? Read it now. It's here. He said, An excellent majesty was what? Added to me. In other words, God added to his greatness. God added to his dignity. 
God added to his power. There is somebody here today. I don't know the level you were before coming here today. But as you give God glory today, as you praise God today, my God will add to your greatness. My God will add to your dignity. My God will add to your power. You are living here stronger than you came. You are living here blessed than you came. You are living here powerful than you came. You are living here greater than you came. You are able to say a louder amen. Now stand on your feet as we round up. Lift up your two hands because we are going into dancing. And as you know, we don't always pray today. But because we want to do our nothing, that's why I am giving you the opportunity. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. I say praise God. You are going to say, Father, I have understanding to praise you, to worship you, to honor you, to extol you. Therefore, O oh God, at the order of Nebuchadnezzar, turn my arches to beauty. Give me all this testimony. Add to my greatness. Add to my dignity. Add to my power. Go ahead and talk to the Almighty God. Skale brando ko sapale mama kashentali, zozale mato kashentali. Thank you, Mighty Father. Blessed be thy name, highest. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Brethren, we're going to the anointing. You will not come with your offering yet, because we are celebrating and we are dancing. The anointing today, as we'll be doing it, you are going to be dancing. It's not just going to be anointing for no, sir. You want to praise God. For Nebuchadnezzar said, and I bless the name of the Lord, and I praise the Lord, and I honor the Lord. Praise the Lord. We will do that. Then you go back to your seats and now prepare your offering and thanksgiving together. And then we will now dance forward in appreciation of the Almighty God for this seventh month and in anticipation of what He will do in the eighth month. By the way, I hope you already know the team for the eighth month. What is the team? Huh? All run possibility. So, anything that has been impossible in your life before, sir, go and skip and smile. Go and do what? Because they shall become. Why did I know? Forever, O oh Lord, thy word is Luke 137. For with God, nothing shall be. So we are going into the season of all run possibility. I thought you will clap. <laughs> so sir Soma, they will be worshipping in praises. You will dance forward. Ministers, you anoint you, you go back and prepare your thanksgiving offering with your offering together. You know, we always do double today. Praise God. And then we will now do dancing and I will pronounce blessing upon you as the Lord have laid it in my heart. And one thing I know is that any of your remaining blessings this month of July shall be downloaded to you. Only one person is saying amen. My God is crowning the end of the month for you with praises, with joy, with blessing, with breakthrough, with promotion, with open doors in the name of Jesus. Over to you, choir. Thank you, Lord. We are to say, Shukuwa 
Thanksgiving proper. Prepare your thanksgiving and offering. Make sure you offer something unto the Lord. You offer your dance. You offer your substance. You offer your voice. You offer your everything that God has given to you. Because he made all things possible for you. Praise the Lord. And I uh, can assure you that your August will be better than your, than your July. Over to you. Hi. This kind of I don't know what no do. I don't know what no do. I don't know what no do. Hey, hey, hey. Sorry for the service, it's already the following. I hear. 
You are the God that can keep beauty for arches. Nebuchadnezzar stood, honored, and praised you. And you turn his arches to beauty. For everyone under the influence of my voice who had come to give you praise, who has appreciated you, who have danced, who have given their substances, Lord, give beauty for arches in the name of Jesus. My God will restore your glory. The Lord will restore your honor. The Lord will bright up your greatness. Bright up your destiny. Bright up your hope. Darkness shall never cover you. In the name of Jesus, your dominion shall be established. You shall become a sought after. Kings will come looking for you. The noble will come looking for you. Don't the matter will come looking for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, you shall be favored. You shall be helped. Your enemy will bow before you. I say your enemy will bow before you. Your destiny will not be destroyed. I say your destiny will not be destroyed. Excellent majesty shall be added to you. The Lord will increase your greatness. Increase your dignity. The Lord will empower you. You will be stronger than all your enemies. I say you will be stronger than all your enemies. The few hours remaining in this month, let God surprise you. I say, let God surprise you. Let God crown the more with rejoicing, with testimony, with blessings in the name of Jesus. May the Lord accept your offering. And on the account of this offering and thanksgiving, I decree lack will never be your portion, poverty will never be your portion. Suffering will never be your portion. You will swim in financial prosperity. You will swim in financial abundance. In the name of Jesus, you will be surrounded with the ocean of blessing. I say you will be surrounded with the ocean of blessing. In the mighty name of Jesus. As you go, the Lord go with you. I say as you go, the Lord go with you. And the Lord usher you into the new month tomorrow. It shall be a new beginning in your life. Go in peace. Go and conquer. Go and be favored. Go and be helped. Go and prosper. Go and be charged. Let the presence of God go with you. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. I thought somebody would say it louder and the powerful. In the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. All I will encourage you is that ensure you enjoy this month, good morning, this week, good morning, Holy Spirit, very well. That is from tomorrow when we'll be taking authority over the new month out to Thursday. I wouldn't know whether we'll meet on Friday, but we'll get to know by Thursday. Praise the Lord. Because the whole of next week, there will not be good morning, Holy Spirit. From Monday to Friday, because of the convention. Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. So grab as much as you can grab this week because next week everybody will be at the camp. Good morning everybody. The grace. The women looking for food or the wound should be here in the evening. God bless you all.